What do you think, Walt Man? It's cold outside, ain't it? You ready to go? No, me neither, but we got to. In the spring of 2020, Uncle Gene was running the cat and we started to have some trouble. And uh, the fall before, which had been in 19, we started having some trouble, but we thought it was um, from the cold weather that we were chisel piling in. We'd have a F394, I believe it was, and F393. I think, I think that's what the error codes were. And it was filter bypass for the steering and filter bypass for the um, hydraulics. So uh, that's where we, we got into the initial problem. So naturally, we thought we had oil uh, contamination, so we started changing filters. Well, after about in, in that spring, in the spring of 20, after about three or four filters, we realized, you know, this, this is a little bit bigger. And so then we pulled off the filter and uh, saw that we had some materials in the filter itself. Well, next we called the cat mechanic and uh, had him come and look, look things over and uh, run a bunch of hydraulic tests. And uh, he determined that, well, we needed to change these filter bypasses. And so that's the, on top of the filter, uh, there's a bypass. And, and so that valve body, filter body, that's what we changed. We also, at the same time, changed the sensors, both of them, and hoped that that might fix it. The long and short of it is it, it didn't fix it. Um, it. It didn't change it. And so we had him come back, and, and he went through several other things, but with no luck. And so at that point, it was, well, we'll just have to tie in and see see where we go from here. And I, I asked for some uh, overall general, you know, what do you think this is? What do you think it'll cost? And it, his, and, and they didn't know, his thoughts were somewhere between twenty and $30,000 the last time they tore into a transmission. Uh, on, a, on a Cat 55. Oh boy, wasn't that exciting. So I um, had to make some decisions and that we did. So then the mechanic suggested we do take an oil sample, send it in, and that they could actually tell us, maybe, uh, pretty close to what particular material had failed within the transmission or the, that, that system, hydraulic system, steering system, and then we would be able to kind of have a better idea of, of what we we're looking at. So uh, we did that. All right, so that's the bottle. We're gonna get an oil sample out of the rear end of the tractor, which is, we're gonna pull it out of right there, here in a second, and, and then send it in. Then that'll tell us, hopefully, that will tell us maybe what has come apart inside, and then we'll be able to know. All right, so this is Cat 55, and back to the oil sample. I had gotten on, there's two places to get into this. The drain plug is on the left-hand side, or the driver's side, you might call it. And I had mentioned you could do it on the other side. You can. And actually, what we're gonna do is we'll pull it out of the very, very bottom. And then that way the sample will have any kind of crap in it. Now I've only got about, oh shoot, maybe, maybe 50 hours on the oil that's in it. So this will help. I can't believe it's that tight. Dog on it. So I've got to get the hours. So it is 60, 17 on this baby. <laughs> well, that was the other day. Uh, so we got, we got the oil, which uh, pretty dark if you think about it. And uh, so got that, got all the paperwork filled out. It's inside here and voila. So now that part's done and they will give us the results once I get that mailed in. And we will see what we're gonna fix. Couple things that are possible. Number one, it could be the PTO clutch. 
It could be there is a steering clutch on each side of the tractor, and it could just be the main power clutch, or I'm not sure what you call it, the main transmission, which has clutch packs. So we'll see, each one of those has a different cost. And uh, and again, it's a Cat 55, it's an 0199, somewhere in there. Uh, so we'll see. All right, so we're in the world headquarters for Turkey in Clark County. There's Terry. And we are gonna, we've changed locations. This is a heated shop. We believe, because the oil test says everything's good, that now it's an electrical problem. And based off the fact that Terry found a small, very, very little bitty mouse, just, just a little baby, in the cab this morning, we're thinking uh, more along the lines of some electrical, if not the CCM issue. So the great news is we don't split it here. We don't take the cab off. We just start looking for a needle in a haystack, right? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. So, uh, so that's what we're doing. We're getting ready. We're going to pull the rubber mat out. I'm going to try to get a camera in there somehow. I don't know how yet, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> anyway, we're going to put that in there. Probably do all this on time lapse. I think that'll be best because, I mean, it may take forever, especially if I'm doing it. One other quick note. Not a professional, me. So I realize when I don't know how to do something, that's why I have him. Because I don't know. seats out this part of the floor mat is out now we got to do this bottom floor mat we've taken the window off here and here so we've pulled the window out which I think don't you think we'll just take the seat and come back in this way yeah <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah well yeah you know hey you got to be cool when you're um, okay so now we're gonna do the bottom floor mat we obviously have some issues with the mice I can get that to adjust. And we're going to start looking at the wires here in a little bit. So the next thing is we're going to take that mat out. Okay, we pulled the bottom floor pan off now and we vacuumed out pretty good. And uh, so now we're going to start searching for wires and trying to troubleshoot. We think. We think we're far enough. We'll see. One wire at a time. on it. Yeah, I feel them. They fit good in your hand. Yeah, well, they do. These snap on, are they? Yeah. Okay. Side console is pulled off 
And now we're gonna go wire by wire and check. We got a mess in here. And as you look through these, there's some chewing going on on these things as well. So I guess that's a good lesson. A lot of mouse bait in this stuff. Questions so we can all learn together. Come and grow with us.